Well, what we're looking at right now is the entrance of the main pipe into the lake. The submersible pump is about 30 feet out from the shoreline in about six feet of water. It runs underneath the stone and emerges from the shoreline right here. Um, what you see here is uh, the power supply for a uh, heat cable. So that keeps the, the line free in the spring and the fall. And then from here, it's just clear pipe all the way up to the house. It uh, drains back once it's pumped into the pressure tank in the house. The valve releases the water and then it drains back into the lake. So there's nothing to freeze in here during the winter at all. So we're now inside the house and this is the feed line that comes from outside from the lake and it runs up uh, to this assembly here. So this is the, uh, the hardware that allows the drain back system to function during the winter. It's a pretty simple operation. So there's a five micron filter here that does uh, essentially all of the water that runs into the house. And then our system, uh, we've broken the drinking water system into a separate loop. So we have a one micron filter up here and then the UV sterilization is just over here on the wall. So we have two places where that runs. There's a, a small tap at the kitchen sink and a small tap in the bathroom. So drinking water only runs through those taps. Most systems would have uh, a full house sterilization. We didn't go that route initially, but uh, we may convert to that in the future. We, we change the filters about every three months or so. And usually the system will tell you when filters need changing because the pressure starts to drop. And then you can see visually if uh, there's any issues there. I do it myself. It's fairly easy to do for a homeowner, uh, but some people elect to have a professional come in and do it. Uh, it's about, uh, I'd estimate about $250 a year for the filters and the bulb. The bulb and the UV um, sterilization system, uh, that works for about a year and then you have to change the bulb. And that bulb is about $150. The filters are maybe another hundred dollars on top of that. So every six months, every three to six months, there's some attention to it. So this system won't treat any of the toxins from blue-green algae, so that would be a concern. So we do uh, monitor to see here if there's any uh, potential blooms going on in the lake. And I think at that point we'd have no choice but to shut the system down and use bottled water. So we test regularly um, and we've had uh, you know, zero bacteria show up at all in all of our tests, so we've been pretty pleased with the way it's performed so far. And here's the finished product. Cheers, everybody. <laughs>